Okay, uh, uh, let's let's try this. Uh, I was what I'm trying to say is okay. I'm gonna make uh, one line, and uh, then actually let's do another one here. Okay, and uh, let's array this one in y direction. Uh, Twenty. And uh, I would say linear. Okay. Now do the same here for the other side was twenty. I'm just going to make the same thing. Okay. Now, let's say you want to connect a point on this one to a point on the other side. Uh, so you need a line which which it represent the uh, cable or rod or whatever the material is. It's, and you need to array, I don't know what, uh, like 15 of it. And I'm gonna say yes, so we can, I can pick the sub-objects, uh, uh, the vertices. Well, the vertex one, um, I'm gonna array on these curves, right? So let's see. This is a curve controller. So when I choose one curve here, it asks if you want to array for uh, on, on the curves inside the, the array, and then I would say yes. And then, as you can see, it's, it goes to each the first point of each line. I'm okay. just going to make the other vertices here. The same thing, and just need to update it. Okay, since we have only one uh, uh, as you can see, we have only one uh, line for each element. It goes from the first point to the uh, to the first point of the uh, same line on opposite side. So if you add like five you will get something like that. It, it starts from here and it goes up. So you have five lines which it distributes along each curve and then you have 15 lines this way which distributes along two arrays. So what else uh, we can do with it is um, Or, or uh, let me see, there's an uh, offset here, so I'm just going to make this auto update and then update it. Uh, when I reset the offset, now they are just, uh, I can I can move, uh, you know, this is, this is working on the left side, and this vertex working, is working on the other side, okay? And what controls, uh, this connection is actually a link controller under this, uh, under the curve controller, which is a parametric array link controller. You, you're familiar with this. Uh, the, the, there is another option, um, a, a new option in parametric array 2.5, which actually you can see the, the controllers uh, inside each other, how it, how they are actually structured uh, to, to create your parametric array. It, it returns an object value. This is new type uh, for parametric array. We didn't have this. We, have, we had only four types. Now we have five, which can be actually a, a max object itself. 
So this max, max object is going to, to the curve controller. So for this particular member, the object will be this line. But uh, for this one, for example, this object will be this. It depends on the settings on this controller. So if I um, try to, uh, if I choose the corresponding item, the first goes to first, second goes to second, and so on. Uh, I can manipulate this uh, using the, uh, the index values. Well, if I use relative, uh, and the, off uh, the indexes are zero, is the same as corresponding item. But once I go to, for example, if I add this, as you can see, the lines are moving uh, from one, so from the first item to the second, and then they start from the third item. So that's how it works. Uh, you can actually um, control this value uh, using another controller. So last time uh, there was a question about this, but uh, unfortunately I, I couldn't, I, I didn't have time to answer that. It was, uh, it was about how we can shift these things, uh, how we can connect certain object to another uh, object in, in, uh, in a certain way. This is one of the, this is one way that you use um, the relative mode, which turns, uh, which returns actually the same item of the target array, and then you manipulate that using this offset value or index value, uh, or you can use the absolute I, uh, value. The absolute means whatever is here, uh, the parametric array tries to find that particular index in target array. In in my case now it's one and I can change it like that. From the curve controller, you can change these uh, local offset too. So even vertically, you can control where the, the line rests on the other side. 